movement could be absolutely overwhelming just in everyday life. I mean, look, we see, I, I think we see online, I, I the latest research, you, human people see uh, 800 to 1,000 ads a day. Yeah. Between streaming media and, and websites and social media and all that, 800 to 1,000 messages a day competing for space in your brain. And that doesn't count all the other things that you have to do in your life. It's madness. It's utter, utter madness. On the subject of madness, um, and because the uh, Yellow Pages I was talking about earlier was a corporate company, the background I've got says, yeah, creativity in the corporate world. Um, what's the biggest, uh, either in terms of revenue or staff, a uh, size company you have dealt with? The largest. Wow. So a small to medium enterprise is, uh, is uh, uh, classified as someone with, with 50 to 250 staff. Below that, you're mm -hmm. just a small business. Okay. Yeah. Now, looking back, I think probably the largest business uh, was a corporation with about 700 employees and doing about 450 million a year in revenue. Okay. So not massive, but definitely successful. Did you find them to be more difficult to work with for than clients you've had since? When I began working with them, they were a 50 employee company that was doing about 120 million in revenue. So in the beginning, I really enjoyed it and things went very well. And as corporations tend to do, as they grow, you have more people with more opinions and leadership becomes diluted because people get handed VP titles right and left. Uh, you've got you've got a board with 25 members uh, and nobody can agree on anything and so in that short amount of time it, it became a boondoggle I mean the the pro marketing world tells uh, creatives copywriters uh, uh, graphic designers so forth that you know all you have to do is just tell these companies to listen to you and they'll just do whatever you tell them to. And the reality is just that's far from it. You know, you, as a copywriter, you're a peon. <laughs> you know, in, in their eyes and, you know, they just, they, they may think you're basically a monkey with a typewriter. Um, so, you, you know, it, it's... The bigger a corporation gets, the more difficult it can be to drive innovation mm. if the company isn't geared toward that and built that way from the start. It can happen. Um, it can you know, happen. Th th this was in the insurance sector, and, and insurance companies aren't exactly the first in line to uh, try innovation. So, No, no. Well, uh, uh, yeah, I... Um... I wonder if that. I mean, I would agree with you as a as a throwaway comment, but actually, I wonder if so. In the UK, you have four or so major underwriters operating mm -hmm. probably two to three hundred different brands, uh, mm. all with individual offerings for a particular target market. You so. I'm an ex I'm not even a current marketeer, so I see it and I always read the small print and adverts to see who it is that actually is behind the organization. They have to put mm -hmm. that on the adverts in the UK. So, uh, whilst I would agree that insurance doesn't sound that interesting in terms of creativity, it might actually be that they are creative but just not in a way that translates into words so they okay. they, they have act you've heard of the term actuary yeah absolutely yeah. so they and i actually must all be now out of work because i'm sure that an algorithm will be better than them but um you know they'll say here's the risk profile and they'll say all right let's create some products or brands so It must, 
it must be possible because we know big companies do operate at that it's probably the shift the what's called scaling 